Nope. The third film written and directed by Jordan Peele is out. It's been out. It's been out long enough that we can have this conversation with some spoilers. And I would say this is the most controversial of Jordan Peele's releases, not in the sense that like, oh, politically, we've got a we've got a lot to break down here. He's going there in the subtext of it's because uh, a lot of people thought that it sucked. This is uh, by far, to me and, and, and from what I've read, the, the movie that has generated the most polarizing reviews from people. Now, I will say this from the beginning, something that bothered me. I thought, you know, that this movie must be the most David Lynchian, insane, crazy film. Because what I kept reading from people, this was after like, after some people liked it and then Logan Paul said that he didn't like it, everybody else started sending out, hey, just saw Nope, not sure how to feel about it. Hey, just saw Nope, don't know if, know if I liked it or not. That makes you a coward. That's the one thing that I cannot stomach. If you went to see Nope and the credits rolled and you were like, I'm not sure what I just saw, you might be an idiot. Because whether you like, I can respect you if you liked it, I can respect you if you didn't like it. But when you see something and you just have this awareness that people have an opinion about it, so you're too much of a coward to just say whether you liked the movie or you didn't like the movie, now you've gotten me to the point where I'm infuriated. And I have, I believe we have, yes, one of those individuals here coming live from the beaches of Cheyenne. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheyenne Marte <gasps> is here, sunglasses on, palm trees in the this background, is... looking cool, looking fresh. You were one of these idiotic nincompoops who texted, you saw it opening weekend, and you texted yes. that you weren't sure if you liked Nope or not. And I believe that the only reason that you weren't sure whether you liked it or not is because you were waiting to find out what the cool kids thought. That's what I think. Well, no, no, I, it took some time for me to sit on it and think of the story and, and what it, the plot and what the plot was about. And by that, I mean, I had to watch a YouTube video. To, to <laughs> like, okay, look, tell me what it, I understand. So there's, there's a greater, obviously there's, there's, there's a greater subtext or whatever going on throughout the film. To me, as I'm watching, I say, okay, clearly to me, Beyond what we're seeing, I could read this as a, a, a larger commentary on exploitation and and sort right. of our, our, our unfeeling desire. I mean, the idea, it's kind of brilliant. The idea is that there's an alien attack and what we as an audience are watching is the protagonists, instead of trying to stop the alien attack, like, uh, like Will Smith, uh, b before he beat up Chris Rock, he was in this movie, Independence Day. And in that movie, he had to fight an alien. And the goal of fighting the alien was to kill it so that it didn't kill us. But in Nope, the whole goal is just to get a picture of the alien. That's all anybody wants to do is just to get footage yeah. of it, to just, to just use it. They don't think to themselves like, oh, what's the greater good here? They think to themselves, oh, how can I profit off of this? How can I exploit this thing for my own benefit? The same way uh, uh, animals, horses, are exploited when they're trained for a film. The same way we saw in the beginning, uh, a chimpanzee is exploited so that he may work on the set of a sitcom with the guy from The Walking Dead. The same way a, a Jamaican jockey could be exploited to be the first human being uh, as part of a motion picture, although none of us remember his name. That, that could be constituted as exploitation. But regardless of all that, right, even if you're not looking at this bigger angle of exploitation, because maybe, maybe you didn't get the subtext, which is fine, what's on the surface is some people, right, they live on a ranch, and they're being attacked by aliens. Right. 
and they have to try not to get attacked by an alien. Like, what part of that leaves people going, I don't know what I just saw. How do you, they said what you just saw. It's an alien in the sky eating people and shitting out nickels. The alien, that's what the movie is. It's a big alien and it eats people and it shits nickels and keys and that's, and you don't want to get eaten and you don't want your nickels and keys to get shitted out. I mean, well, I mean, you did a very, you did a very good explanation. Just, I did not think of the why don't we just kill the alien uh, instead of trying to get a photo of it plot line. I mean, yeah. that's not, not the issue. That is. I, my issue was that all of these messages that they wanted to give about Hollywood and how it chews people up and spits them out or whatever it is, it just wasn't conveyed the best way that uh, that he usually conveys it. Like he did in us, and like he did in, in what was the other one? Uh, Get out. Get out. It just wasn't. I, yeah, I. It, I feel like it was like very uh, loosely. What, what, what about just? What, what about just just from the perspective of there's an alien, and it eats people, and then it shits out their loose change, and then sometimes it shits out blood all over an entire house. That like, was badass. Like, if you tell me, right, and this is what I don't understand. If you told me, forget about the subtext of the exploitation, which clearly, I mean, I saw the movie last night. I got it immediately. But forget about that. Like, even if you don't want to exercise your brain, and that's fine. Not everybody goes to the movies yeah. to exercise their brain. They just want to see what they want to see, and that's fine. But if you told me there's a movie in theaters right now where there's a giant alien, not a spaceship. We think it's a spaceship at first, but it turns out it's an alien, spoiler alert. And it's an alien and it lives in the sky and it swoops down and it eats people and it, it shits out whatever's in their pocket. And also it shits blood and covers an entire house. Is that a movie you'd like to see? I go, yeah, that sounds great. Point me in that direction. Kiki Palmer is fantastic in this thing and like Daniel Kaluuya is there anything that Daniel Kaluuya is not like incredible in he yeah, has like he has very good like uh like just like his eyes you can, can, can tell a story he's un I don't even think he spoke this that much no he's unbelievable in everything that he's in and that dude is British he's British what what he, yes what, really Dude, he's British. The guy from Get I've never Out. I heard him talk outside of an interview. The guy from Nope. He was in an episode of Black Mirror. He's in all this shit. He's British. That's how good all he is. Right. So the TMZ guy goes down, right? We never see his face, but he's wearing that mirrored uh, uh, helmet, right? When he only wanted to get the shot, right? And the alien killed him for it. He didn't get out of the way for it. A couple of scenes later, the super artsy cinematographer is trying to get the same shot, right? Uh, is also trying to that get that was the so shot. stupid. That was so dumb. Like, what? I, Tell he me had why. The shot already. Tell he me had, why. He already had the shot, but he wanted a better why? shot. So I was, it, he wanted the perfect shot. Okay, it, he it, wanted the impossible shot. Yeah, but they needed to work harder with making it make sense. Like he just went in there and decided, oh, I'm just going to kill myself. Basically, he just committed suicide. Because, and first of all, the only reason you think that is because Logan Paul tweeted it. And secondly, he had the exact <laughs> same mind state as the guy from TMZ. He did the exact same thing as the TMZ guy did. He was obsessed with just getting this shot for himself. He was so obsessed with being the guy that got the impossible. He's so obsessed with being a legend that he thought he was invincible and wasn't even considering. He didn't sit there and say, oh, I'm going to kill myself to get this shot. He said, I'm going to get the shot. He wasn't consciously going, okay, I've assessed everything uh, that's possible right now, and I probably won't make it if I do this. That's not what happened. That would never happen. He was obsessed yes. with getting the shot the same way this guy just falls off a motorcycle. Most of us fall off a motorcycle. Our first thought is, holy shit, I just fell off a motorcycle. How come my electric motorcycle stopped working? I wish my electric motorcycle worked. Let me let me go through Logan Paul's other tweets because 
Hot Dog, I feel like, is not 100% sure of his opinion because it's been a minute since he read Logan Paul's Twitter. I, I didn't say, I, I never said to you or Travis that it was a bad movie. I never said that. I just said, I don't know that it was a great movie. I think you said, I don't That's know right. if it was a good, don't make me fucking. Okay, this is what you said. I, None of your bullshit. This is exactly what you said. <laughs> you said, <laughs> just got out from watching Nope. I can't tell if it was good or bad. Definitely not as good <laughs> as Jordan Peele's last two, though. About to watch some YouTube videos to tell my confused ass how to feel about it. That's what you said. I can't tell if it was good or bad. And before I even saw the movie, I said, I have no respect for that opinion. That you can't, good or bad is a subjective thing. What do you mean I don't know if I thought it was good or bad? Because it was, it was, I thought it was mid, and I wasn't sure. I, I was like, if I missed something, I could go on YouTube and see what people, what, uh, what other angle there was that I maybe have missed, and go, oh, okay, that, that makes sense. That makes the movie better. Okay, I understand. That was a good one. All right, all right. Let's get back to some of Logan Paul's tweets then, because maybe you'll be like, yeah, okay, okay. He says, nope is one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. Logan Paul, that's that's so that, stupid. That I don't agree with. That's yeah, so that, stupid. That's stupid. Uh, yeah. Okay. My next point, Logan Paul says, this storyline is all over the place in a crowd of 40 people. The actress who was mauled on the set of Gordy's home was there. Why? Shock factor because of her scarring? Does she come to all of, does she come to all of them? Why did she come before the ET feeding? I mean, I she was, there was a connection there. She was there to see. He. This was supposed to be a big deal. There were flyers posted. This was not just a random thing. This was like, hey, I want you to come. He was obviously telling his friends he wanted them to come. He told OJ he wanted him to come. Why wouldn't he have told this his actress friend that he wanted her to come? They're in they're right outside of Los Angeles, so she's probably close by. And look, a monkey chewed her face off. She ain't getting acting work right now. What the hell else is she doing? <laughs> How the fuck does it not make okay. sense that she would be there? Oh, this is this, I, is this I, is this is this is bordering on mentally challenged. So why was so much emphasis placed on the name of the horses? They had title cards. Why? Yes. Okay. All right. That's a good one. Why? Every animal. It wasn't just the horses that had title cards. Every section of the movie that revolved around an animal had a title card because it was about the animals and the predators. The two horses had title cards, as did Gordy, who was not a horse. He was the chimpanzee, as did uh, uh, Jean Jacket. Jean Jacket wasn't a horse. It was the alien. They were drawing. They did horse, horse. Then they did Gordy. Then they did Jean Jacket. These are all wild animals that are trying to be tamed by human beings. Like, uh, check out the big brains on you. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I, and I didn't have to get that from a YouTube video. I just, I, I said Gordy. I was like, oh, did they name a, a, a horse after Barry Gordy? And then they were like, oh, oh, the monkey's Gordy. That's right. Oh, I see what they're doing. All the animals get a title card for a different section of the film of, that, that is all coming together to tell one narrative that is centered around trying to tame animals. And, okay, last one. Uh, I, an extraterrestrial creature that is advanced enough to fully shapeshift, activate an anti-electromagnetic field, yeah, and propel itself in any direction quickly, yeah, and, qui and quietly can't tell the difference between a plastic inflatable and a viable meal. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like saying, you mean to tell me a creature that is capable of breathing underwater and living where humans can't leave, live isn't smart enough to not eat a straw and die? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. You're mean to tell me that a creature that is advanced enough to have its house built into its body and it can go into, you mean a shell? Yeah, that's a turtle. And yes, they eat straws and die. <laughs> They're stupid, but they happen to be good at other things. Yes, it's exactly what I'm telling you. That 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 yes, oh, the, the, oh, oh. yeah, okay. the one right. has, one has nothing to do with the other. Yes, I'm telling you right now that you mean to tell me that a creature that is advanced enough to fly through the sky and and create a home that can lay its own eggs made out of twigs. And, and, and no, just based on the weather, 
when it's time to relocate to a new home. You mean to tell me that that creature is stupid enough to fly into a, a glass pane like a window and break its own neck because it doesn't understand the concept of glass? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. It's it. It's a bird. That would be a bird. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's not good writing, bro. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That not all, not all, not all traits, you know, I mean, human beings have figured out how to use tools pretty well. It doesn't mean we can run as fast as cheetahs. Oh, God damn it. I mean, you kind of broke everything down. I honestly, I honestly did think Logan Paul had some good points, but I guess. I have to watch it over again and, you know, solidify my opinion on it. But I mean, yeah, I guess it's good. I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't like the movie, that's fine. I disagree with Logan I, Paul, but I am infuriated at the idea of I didn't know. I had some questions, and my questions have been answered. 